this um earrings or studs in my bag but when i do warm up my food on the way dollars Every night fucks every day up. Every day patches the night up. Adore oh, my God, you should match it. It's like a No one light us till I fuck my 28th Check out the Amazon storefront. Hey, B Squad. My name is Bacana if you're new here, and I am a New York based flight attendant. I create travel and lifestyle vlogs and today is a sit down vlog to show you what I have in my flight attendant bags. So I have here my suitcase. I'll be putting up videos over so you can see a little bit more detail, but just for the sake of the video and the time and all the effort that goes into it, I'm gonna just keep everything as they are and just show you little clips. I also have my lunch kit and I have my, my uh, tote bag here with me. That's actually super duper huge. And I'm trying to get a thumbnail right now. So if you see this picture or not, <laughs> just know that this was the thumbnail for the video. Um, so I want to immediately start off by saying everything that I have in my bag is interchangeable. All of the shoes, all of the jacket. There's a good amount of things that do stay put in my bag, but a um, good amount of the clothes as well also goes in and out depending on the season, whether we are in winter, we're in fall right now, we're just in summer, if it's spring, like just know that depending on the weather outside, that's how I'm packing. But also, it depends heavily on where I go. Sometimes I know in advance where I'm going, so I'll be able to take uh, the leather jacket out of my bag and put a light jacket in and put more swimsuits in or more shorts in. Sometimes I can take out the shorts and put some sweatpants and a hoodie and a thicker jacket. You know, it just depends on where you're going, if you know where you're going um, and the time, like the time period, the, the season in which you're going. The next thing which a lot of us mainly go through is that we don't know where we're going <laughs> we're going on standby that's where we're going we're going to the airport to sit for hours and hopefully get a call if you don't want to get a call hopefully not get a call so with things like that you don't necessarily know if you're gonna be in jamaica or if you're gonna be in london you know and for jamaica like it's 95 percent of the time it's always hot sunny beautiful depending on like the season because you do have rainy season and you have to look up the countries that your airline flies to and make sure you're prepared make sure you have an idea of what those countries are like seasonally um or london london is a big iffy as well but again 99 percent of the times it's cold so yeah with that all being said i'm gonna jump into my lunch kit first just to start off light and quick then I'm going to head into my tote bag and finish off with my suitcase. So this is my lunch kit. I actually got it from the company. They were doing a giveaway uh, to flight attendants in our crew room and different bases throughout um, the U.S. So I was fortunate enough to be at the right time at the right place and get a lunch kit. There's a front pocket right here that I keep gloves, napkins, um, little knickknacks, teas, stuff like that. Then this pocket, I keep my snacks. I have a Ziploc bag just in case for anything, you know. I have some more teas. I have this one from Twinnings. Then I have a couple from Big Low. Um, I have some other dry goods snacks that I keep. Because you never know what time you'll get to a destination. Because sometimes you get there on time. Sometimes you're waiting waiting at the airport waiting for god knows what else but it's always good to have at least something that you can snack on because again you never know what time you're gonna get somewhere and all the restaurants could be closed so i have these little containers that i got from god knows where but i think it's from marshall's or like tj maxx home goods ross one of those places the brand itself is called Hank Anchor and Hocking, and it's glass so I can warm up my food on the plane because that's we have ovens. You can only warm up like, you know, dishware, glass or, or chalk or whatever they want to call it in the oven. So 
very smart and i got these for four dollars normally they're full i do travel with two of each and sometimes i leave one one of each empty because when i go on layovers i tend to buy food and i'm bringing my food home so i need a container that's empty that i can just scrape the rest of my food in and put it in my lunch kit and now i have my tote bag this is my beautiful tote bag <laughs> i'm gonna start off with the front of it um this is where i normally keep all the things that i want to reach for really really quickly like my passport my keys my cards extra lip gloss i have some cable headphones um i have hand sanitizer in here i have a bunch of lotion that i get from the different hotel rooms again my passport book i have kleenex napkins because you runny nose runny nose you know if you know you know i also have a comb in here and i know i told you about the brush and then i have some little headphones from the plane because passengers always ask when we don't have them so i just like to keep two on me because you know you always want to provide that great experience and if i have two then that's more than enough um i have a bunch of pens as you can see i have some lip liners like literally the same shade different brands these are from kiss and then one is from max max <laughs> one is from mac um the one from mac is chestnut and the one from kiss is an eye pencil but i use it on my lips um and it's brown brun brown literally brown then i have my uh fente i've got my fente lip gloss here I don't know what that was but it was something uh and i also have a sephora red and a fenty mvp the sephora red is in the shade 96 and that's what i use on my lips for those of you that always ask i love mixing it because not everybody has you know the same undertone like as you can see my upper lip is darker than my bottom lip i like to mix my shades to make it fit me i've got this clip that i always clip onto something Sometimes I clip it onto the straps of my lunch kit. And then on this side, I have some extra scarves. Because when I go on the long haul international flights and we go into the crew bunks to take our rest, I just want to grab my scarf and go. And I don't want to dig through my suitcase or dig through my tote bag. So I just keep it in the side pocket. I also have uh, some setas some hair ties and some clips because i gotta sew in and i try to keep my little bangs <laughs> as cute as possible um and the easier i can grab them then the better for me so that's where i keep that so just know this is all about strategy this is all about time saving all about e effectiveness whatever so let's jump into the big part. This is where I keep all of my electronics. I have my headphones here. I got my laptop. I also have my pouch with all my cables, all my chargers, all that good stuff. And then I have two shades. I have this one and then I have actually not two, but my glasses case for the glasses I'm currently wearing that i know people like you can check that out on glassesusa.com i will leave a link down in the description box but i also have my work device i have it off right now to preserve the battery because this be dying so quick but i keep it in here because i want to be able to grab them really quickly i also have ooh, a door stopper that i got from one of my lovely subscribers when it's pressed on it makes noise so if someone tries to open your room it you do need battery but if somebody tries to open your room door when it's pressed on it will make an alarm so i love this please check out my amazon storefront for most of these things um yeah and then i have thank you cards that i try to give to my passengers I got them from the company from our crew room i have a lot of them and i just think it's really nice if you can personalize a little thank you you know if a customer makes you feel like extra nice or something 
um, the customers that bring chocolates and candies and gift cards. I'm going to try to start writing them cards as well. I have this other pouch. It doesn't fit in my lunch kit, so I just keep it in my tote bag. And I also got it from another amazing subscriber. You know who you are. You know who all of you are. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, it's a utensils kit. I have three types of straws. This is really, really cool. I have chopsticks. I have a spoon. I have a knife. I have a little brush to clean everything. I just really, really love it. So I just keep it in my pouch because sometimes I'm in the hotel room and I completely forget to grab like a fork from the restaurant, like a little to-go fork from the restaurant. So I just use this and I wash it up. And guys, that is really it for this little pouch area of my bag. Um, now for the very back, fortunately this, this bag comes with a lot of space. And I didn't get to mention where these bags are from, but they are company issued. We do have to pay for them. They are from Travel Pro and they're really durable. I've seen a lot of people travel with Travel Pro bags, not just um, flight attendants and pilots. Uh, it's super duper durable. I'll leave the link down below to their website if you want to go and check them out. But I really, really like it. And I may look into getting some more bags from them in the future. Now this back portion, when I'm on standby and 99% of the times, well, most times I know when I'm going to be on standby. I know ahead of time. So I always pack this only when I'm on standby. I did get it when I was on a flight as a passenger. So I just keep it to keep myself warm. And then I have some heels in this pouch. Some of them are flight attendant heels. I believe I got these from JCPenney or Macy's. Someone stole my other heels. I'm super tight about that, but it ends there. But this is what they look like. Very basic black heels, black on the bottom. Super cute. Yeah. So I just keep those in there and I have my flats and I'll switch out. Then I also have this uh, adapter, European adapter. I need one for England because I did not know that England was at least for the adapters was completely different from the rest of Europe like the rest of Europe works with this and England had something completely different so that's always a struggle to charge my devices when I go to London but I also have a edge wax I keep that in there and then you can't really see it that well but I will put up a clip over it this plastic pouch I have um, a little kit You'll see another one in my suitcase that has pads, tampons, napkins, etc, etc. I have more pads and tampons in here. And then I have more hair ties in here, like a lot more. I have a little edge brush to go with my edge wax. And yeah, that's really it. That is really it. Turns out I do have a spoon and a knife in here. Thank well. Now I know, <laughs> but yep, that's really it for this little back portion of my bag. Don't ask me how I fit so much stuff in this bag, guys. I do not know. I am a Jamaican. I know how to pack and that's all I knew. That's all I know. But yeah, we're going to stuff this all back in here. So this is the very back of the bag. Very, very back. I have some flats. These flats are from Tory Burch and they're so comfortable. They're so, so comfortable. They have padding on the top and the detail on the um, chain part. I don't know if you can see it that well, but I love these flats. I have them in so many of my travel vlogs, so make sure you go and check those out. And then the strap for my tote bag, because you can wear it as a crossbody or on the shoulder, but I just tend to hook it onto my suitcase. But I do keep the strap close just in case I have to use it. And then, of course, I have extra pads because you just, you never really know, you know what I mean? And it all fits in there perfectly. And this is my, my travel tote. Now we're going to jump into the suitcase, our final destination, which is right here. I'm going to start off in the top part. Uh, it's meshed with a zipper. But in there I have, well I just recently, like this morning, put my flat iron in the bag. And I only walk with a flat iron now because I do have a sewing, like I said earlier. 
you gotta cater your bag to your needs at the time that you need things. If I don't need that when I don't have this in my head, why am I walking with it, you know? But yeah, that's what I had to say. Now, of course, in true Bacana style, I got more pads. <laughs> You never know, a crew member may need it, a passenger may need it. I just like being prepared. I have an exfoliating gloves that I haven't used yet, but I have it for when I'm ready. I have an extra pair of thick, comfy socks for when I'm ready. Definitely have a hat, because they always say to keep a hat with you. You never know where you may go on a layover and you may need a hat. The next thing, or the next, Three things that I have would be something that I just added recently because we learn by trial and error some extra stockings some extra stockings because I have had my stockings rip on the first leg of the trip and I don't got nothing to wear so I'm keeping this now because it's just always annoying especially when your legs not shaved I also have that extra kit that I was telling you about I have a razor in here I have an ice, like a hot and cold pack. I got it from the company as well when they were giving away stuff. And I have some extra tampons. I have these shoes that I took from a hotel. Um, I just keep them in the same packaging that I got them in, but I wear them around the rooms so I'm not wearing my flats or walking barefoot, which I don't like. Like, if I have to walk barefoot, my foot, my toes are literally like, I'm walking like this like I just can't I've conditioned myself to hate walking barefoot especially in public places not even like I'll obviously walk barefoot in nature I'll walk barefoot by a river by a beach but in a hotel room with carpet that I haven't sure has been vacuumed in months mm -mm, I can't do it the bathroom I cannot do it so I kept this and next time I go to a hotel and they have one of these that we could take, I'm taking it too. And then finally for that little pouch is my tote bag that you guys have seen in so many videos. So, so, so many videos. So, yeah, I always keep a little bag. I have another one that I recently got. But this one is my ride or die for when I'm really going out places. Now, some things that I don't have in my bag... Uh, would be my drone. I do carry my drone with me. It's a small DJI mini. It's linked to my Amazon storefront. It's under 250 grams so I can bring it into almost every country without needing a permit. Um, you do have to do your research on that yourself but I normally carry that with me when I'm sure I'm going somewhere that I can fly my drone. I also have um, another black bag that I carry with me that someone asked me about already from Shein. I think I may have gotten a clip from it yesterday. I'll insert it if I can. But it's it's been in my vlogs. It will continue to be in my vlogs. So keep watching. I'll make sure to point it out that that bag is from Shein. Um, and then I do have another windbreaker that I tend to switch in and out with my thicker jacket. And I have a jeans jacket that I tend to bring with me. If you haven't seen it, well, you will see it in the London vlog. I did bring it at that time and it was perfect and much needed. So those are things that I don't have in my bag that sometimes I do. And a long sleeve shirt that I have in my San Juan trip. Um, it, it's literally in the title of the vlog. Um, I have a yellow button up shirt that I did get from Shein as well, an oversized button up shirt. I tend to bring that with me often because it's very versatile. And I do believe it's been in the last three vlogs, so you can check that out if you want to see it. Now let's jump into the very big part of the vlog. I have a makeup bag. This is what it's looking like. You know, all your typical makeup products. I have my powders, my foundation, brushes, more lip pencils, more eye pencils, concealers, um, my sponges extra lotion just a bunch of makeup stuff you guys know what it is you know what it is so yeah and then i have my what is this called i don't even know what this is called um and i struggled with this yesterday when i was filming for the first time too but i got all my little products in here we're gonna run through it really quickly i did get it from an amazing subscriber i am so grateful you guys are so amazing check out the amazon storefront if you want to see more of it but yeah 
so I have soaps and um, makeup removing wipes and a bonnet in the very top section along with some q-tips then in the second section and it is a four part bag oh my god so amazing run to Amazon and get this especially if you love to travel or you just need something to come compartmentalize some of your items this is the perfect bag it's so useful and it hangs i literally hang it in the bathroom and i open whatever section that i need anywho i'm starting to ramble so i have a perfume in this section then i have um, my shampoo and conditioner and i have a deodorant then in the third section <laughs> which is a mess you can't see but my toothpaste is in here my gua sha is in here my toothbrush my face wash and um i have my skincare products let me try to jizzy them up my my vitamin c and my niacinamide and i also have uh tropicals faded cream i also have some more hair ties of course and some razors in this fourth and final section along with an extra pad and an extra tampon and i have a another mini amenity kit that just has a shower cap and i don't know god knows what else i took it from a hotel guys but that's really it and it just folds up into itself just like that and then it zips up there is a section at the back that I never use, but it's there if you need it. It's just so perfect. Like if I was to put all of this in my bag individually, I wouldn't have as much space as I do right now. Now let's get into the clothes and the shoes. Currently I have three shoes in my bag. Um, well, three shoes that I travel with and you saw one of them already, which is a flats. I always think traveling with the flip flops is needed, but I also have sneakers, some Adidas Sambas. I just bought these. The only reason why they're out like this is because I haven't worn them yet. Um, they're literally just on the top of my bag, on the top of my bag. But when I do wear them, I put them in a bag just like you saw with my heels and like you'll see with my workout shoes. But I switch these out, whether it be my Clarks or it be some heels or something like i just switched shoes out and i also have some blue ones that i brought with me to london that you'll see in the next vlog just i just try to wing it um see what i'm gonna wear and like keep outfit ideas in my head but yeah that's that let me show you the sneakers like i said i keep them in this little bag until i can get some proper shoes bags any bag works fine child um this one just so happens to be a walmart bag and then my trainers, my crepes. This is just what they look like. Very simple dimple shoes, very cute. You can also rock these. Like you gotta be ready to use whatever you got in your bag. Cause sometimes some crew members forget to bring a swimsuit. They use workout clothes. They use that workout shorts and that sports bra. You have to be ready to use what you got. <laughs> then I have this other little pouch that I got from a subscriber again. I love your amazing gifts. You just do not understand how much I use them. I literally use them every time I go to work. I love them. So this one has a little mirror that you can use to look at yourself. And then behind that is another section for your necklaces or whatever you want to stuff in this little pocket area. And then, of course, the section for your earrings, your studs, the hangy ones, <laughs> the hoop ones, or if you have rings that you'd like to put in. You just got to customize it and make it your own. But I think it's perfect for travel jewelry. Like, I absolutely love it. Love it. Now, let's get into the clothes real quick. Anyways, I have this um, perfume that actually mommy bought. And I smelled it, and it smells amazing. I told her it smelled amazing, and so she said I could keep it. And it's from Zara, and it's called Apple Juice. Zara Day Collection number 5. It smells so, so good now i have this jacket because it is getting cold i have this um blazer jacket from zara that i keep in my bag now like i said if i know i'm going to the caribbean if i know i'm going to south america i take it out and i put something more appropriate then i also have a jeans shorts i always try to keep a jean shorts even when I'm going on standby, always try to keep a jean shorts. And I always try to keep a jeans pant. 
pants. Now it may not be one of these items specifically, but a jeans and a shorts is always in my bag. This one, a lot of people like. It's uh, from Aeropostale and it's the low rise 90s baggy. It's super duper cute. Again, I wore this in my London vlog. You'll see it when it comes out. And I've been wearing it to other places. So I think you've probably seen it before if you keep up with my vlogs. Now, the next thing that I have is a skirt that I've been putting in my bag and um, I think it's perfect for fall and for warm climates. So it's not too heavy and not too light. And it's kind of cute. I can wear it with a lot of the different tops that I have. So I have crop tops for days, crop tops for days. I have this one, and these two are from Zara. That skirt was from Shein, and uh, the shorts was also from Aeropostale. From Zara, this is from Zara. I try to pack in a way where I can wear everything with everything, I can mix and match. So I have multiple outfits if your girl is stuck there for periods on end. Cause you never know you may get stuck somewhere you may get you may go to miami for a 12-hour layover and get stuck in miami for three days because of storms you never know and these things happen so don't be packing no little bag like bring stuff bring things that you know you will need okay i have this white um mock neck long sleeve and it's partially cropped and i have this uh same version but in a different color in this like cafe mocha type color same thing partially cropped i got this from shein and then i have this jamaica crop top you know you've seen it in my columbia vlog and if you haven't watched my columbia vlog then what are you doing but this jamaica top i bought it in london i bought it from berkshire yeah so that's that and then obviously you know like i have some bras sports bras i have my underwear i have two pairs of bikinis sometimes i travel with a one piece but lately i've been feeling myself i have bikinis in my bag because like i said you never know where you're going and um i have two sets of pajamas right here this one i don't know where it's from i got it from mommy but this one is from victoria's secret i love it it's so cute this is what the bottoms look like and this is what the top look like you know oops wrong way when you're in your sexy bag <laughs> this is what it's looking like and then for the red ones this is what it looks like super duper comfy i think it's 100 percent cotton don't quote me but i really like it very nice i have two of those and i have another skirt this one is a plain black skirt this was in my previous vlog plain black skirt this was from shein it's super duper thick but it's still great for summer but since it's so thick you know it will be amazing for winter and then i have a couple other shirts that i want to show you this pin under bodysuit this one's from zara you guys know those viral shirts that even Skims has and Shein has dupes. This one is specifically from Zara. And then I have this one that's more of a t-shirt pin under. It's inside out. Do not judge. Pin under. This one is from Shein. And I really like this one. And then I have this shorts. Oh my god. I got this from Victoria's Secret. And it comes with a top. Do you see how it moves like butter? Do you see how it moves like jello? The top is just like that. It fits so nice. It looks like something that you can buy from Skims. But I got it from Victoria's Secret. And it came as a set. I think it was $20, $30, $40, one of those. But it came two for one. So that was nice. And then I have some workout clothes. I have um, a top that was once white that is now peach. And some long workout bottoms and then I usually have um, some shorts that I wear with this one but the shorts was in the wash I need to put it back in my suitcase but if you can see the trend I try to keep two of everything I have two skirts I have two pants shorts I have 
um sometimes i travel with two dresses but i don't have any dress in this bag i have more than enough tops a lot of underwear two swimsuits you get the vibe more than two shoes you just gotta pack smart now this is my little going out outfit i don't really go out that much and if i do go out it's the daytime but when it's the night i have this little romper um play suit it's a short and it's long sleeve i got this from shein but you always see stuff like this on Fashion Nova. Um, so yeah, and it's ribbed. So it's great for the summer nights. And it's great for winter nights. So I, I have a little bit of everything. That if I do want to go out at night with the crew members. I got something to wear. And obviously during the day I got more than enough things. I'm going to show you the back. Because in the back of the suitcase I have a little pocket. As you can see. And in that pocket, I have that extra bag that I told you about. And I also have an umbrella, especially for the season that we're in now. And a little black tote bag that I use if I go shopping, if I buy food or snacks or clothes. I can put this, put all of them in this and not be walking around with a bunch of shopping bags looking like that one crew member that just went overload. So that's that. And that really sums up my my bag. That sums up everything. I don't know how I have room to fit all of these things, but you just got to make it work for you. These are all things that are catered to me. So whatever you like to wear to make you feel comfortable wherever you are in the world, pack how you want to pack. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like the video. Drop some comments about any of the items if you're curious or you know what you pack as a traveler you don't have to be a crew member but what you pack as a traveler any packing tips and advice that you have that can benefit all of us we would really appreciate it i know i will and with that being said i'll see you guys in the next one Bye.